Hey everybody, it's Brad here, Cook NC Channel, Wild Boys Brewery. Hope everybody's having a good one. Um, first thing I want to do is give a shout out to Dan over at Arrogant Bastard Ale for hooking me up with this Firestone Walker, Walker Double Jack. I did not review it on camera, I just finished it. I just wanted to sit and enjoy it. I just wanted to let him know that I think it's an awesome beer. The only problem I have with it is they do not distribute to the East Coast. Other than that, this beer is kick-ass. So if you can get Firestone Walker, Double Jack, or any of their beers, I suggest you check them out. Anyway, moving on, uh, what I was making the video for was I was going to review another beer from Main Brew Guy. He sent me. Uh, this is Gary's Insidious Twin. It is his clone recipe of uh, Jamel's Evil Twin. I have not had that, so I do not know how it's going to compare. I'm just going to give you my impressions of it. Uh, here's the beer he sent me. He always puts cool labels on it, so props for that. So let's uh, pop the top on this thing, check it out. Good hiss. quite dark. Got a nice three-quarter finger head on it. Hold it up to the light and it is a dark brown. You can see some light around the edges of it and just a little bit through the bottom. It's like a super dark IPA. Um, that's the appearance. Get a nose on it. Smells good. Uh, getting hops right off the nose. It's a real piney kind of hop. I don't think he put the recipe sheet in with this one. Um, he gave me the recipe for the blackberry wheat beer and the Black Betty that he sent, the Black Rap here, but he did not put the one in for this one, so I'm not, I've seen all the videos they put out about these, but that's a while back, I've got about a five day memory at, at the max, so I can't remember what the hops are in this. It smells good though, it's very, very uh, East Coast IPA kind of smelling. Very floral, piney smelling hops. Uh, anyway, let's get a taste on it. Cheers. It's very interesting. It follows the nose quite well. It's got an earthy hop kind of taste to it with a kind of hard to put my finger on exactly what the taste is I'm picking up on it. It's, it's definitely different from anything I've ever tried before. Uh, like I say, I have not tried the actual Evil Twin, so I don't know how it compares to that. Uh, as far as liking the beer, I really do like it though. It's pretty good. Very interesting. I like it. It's uh, it's got a pretty good balance between malt and hop. Uh, it's got a little more hop than it does malt, I think. It's leaving awesome place on the glass. It swirls up a really great head. It's keeping the heads hanging around. It's a little more bitter than the nose. having a really difficult time putting my finger on exactly what the taste is I'm getting. It's pleasant. It's very different from any other IPA I've had. I don't think this is technically an IPA. It's too dark. Uh, it falls into that family of beers though. It's a very hot forward beer. Mouthfeel on it. It's 
kind of medium thin. It's a little thinner than it is medium. Um, if you were like between thin and medium, it's closer to being a little more thin, but it's not super thin. It's appropriate for the style, I think. Uh, it's not like a thick, viscous beer. It goes down nice. Very pleasant. Very drinkable. As far as the drinkability goes, uh, it's very drinkable. So what do you put on the label here if there's any information about Okay, he's got it down as an amber ale. It's a little dark to be an amber, but I'd say it could fall into that category. Can't read the ABV on it, he's got it on here. Anyway, I like it. Good job, Gary. It's a great beer. If I could get it, I'd drink another one. Um, Good job, man. Cheers.